dreaming of somewhere tropical. But you can't jump on a jet quite yet. Take a mini trip to the tropics or just down memory lane with a good old whiff of pineapple weed. This is actually one of the plants that I could have recognized as a kid, uh, along with the dandelion back in the day. But just by sight and smell, I didn't realize that it was edible until I was an adult, or that its other common name is wild chamomile. It's a tough little champ who likes to grow low to the ground in hard packed areas. So you'll tend to find it along sidewalks, parking lots, and roadsides. And it's great to see it there, but it's safer to harvest from a lighter traffic area where there's no chance of chemical sprays. The roots tend to want to come along with the rest of the plant when you give them a pull. So as respectful foragers, we want to leave the roots in the ground if we aren't going to use them. This means it's a good idea to bring a pair of scissors along when collecting, just so that you can snip off the parts that you want. Give them a little haircut. Pineapple weed is great for beginners because it's easy to identify. It has cone-shaped flower heads, which are yellowish green and have no petals, and distinctly divided leaves. Uh, and you can always confirm with a sniff test. Who doesn't love a good sniff test? <laughs> Just crush a flower head between your fingers and give it a sniff. If you find a delightful fruity scent reminiscent of chamomile and pineapple, then you've found a new plant friend to get you through these tough vacationless times. Tea! You bet it does. It has similar benefits to other chamomiles, promoting sleep and relaxation. And it is sometimes used to aid digestion or for mild pain relief, such as when someone is having menstrual cramps. Pro tip, if you are saving the flowers for later use, be sure to put them on a mat or solid surface as they tend to fall apart when drying. Losing your carefully gathered stash is the opposite of calming to most people, so let's skip that lesson. To make your tea, First, bring water to a boil and pour over your flowers, either two tablespoons of fresh or one tablespoon of dried. Then, steep for five or more minutes. Finally, strain and sweeten if desired. This drink can be served hot or iced. And if you'd rather not drink it, you can add it to a dream pillow or sachet instead. Fun fact, this plant has been traditionally used as a gentle cleanser and is thought to have the ability to rid the body of pinworms. You can nibble on the flowers as a snack, or use them to liven up a salad. But if you want to let their flavor shine and impress your friends, then we recommend this yummy cookie recipe. They take a little pre-planning, but are well worth the effort. Your ingredient list is as follows. A quarter cup of pineapple weed flower heads, diced. Half a cup of butter one and three quarter cups of flour, another quarter cup of pineapple wheat flour heads, one cup of sugar, two eggs, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and half a teaspoon of salt. On the first day, place a quarter cup of the fresh flour heads, gently diced, into half a cup of melted butter. Then, let this infuse overnight in a warm place. On day two, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Cream your infused butter with sugar, beat in eggs and vanilla, then add your flour and salt. Finally, fold in your remaining quarter cup of flour heads, and then drop by teaspoon onto a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. Bake for 10 to 15 minutes. They are ready when the edges are golden. <laughs> 